Hey, welcome back. It's time to continue our journey in Assassin's Creed. And we have to talk with the wife of that lad. Where is she? It's up there. Uh, wait. There are the, sto uh, the stairs. From me. Sheathe your blade, lady. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. Where is he? I am weary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I will remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck he hasn't been eaten, but I will return either way. is a godly virtue, Adred. Even the saints would tire of waiting for their stand to hang up his bow. Dear Estrid, we must discuss the affairs of this Okay. <laughs> Let's find that camp. Go, 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 go. Time to find that camp. The tree ahead of us. This is the camp. Hunting is a fine sport, but I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. Investigate the camp. No good comes from a camp this bloody. The remains of the hunting party. This one was savaged by a large animal. Why are you so sleepy? They were caught off guard as they supped. Investigate the camp. They were attacked by a beast. Something strong enough to kill a horse. Investigate the camp. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. I can only hope that Beeston still lives. Survey the area, Sunan. Let's do this first. Search for Beeston. Ready your weapon, or accept your fate as a feast for bears. Die! Come on. It's the blood coursing.
You have savaged enough men today, beast. Ah, your weapons quite true. Well fought, friend. I would not have survived this ambush without you. You have my gratitude to stumble upon me in my moment of greatest peril. Perhaps you were God sent. I am Estrid sent. Your wife and the Thanes of Essex both want your balls on a blacksmith's anvil. When do they not? You could return and report that the savage claw took me. Poor Beerstan, his exit pursued by a bear. And make the beast Lord of Essex in your stead. No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my calloused hands. So, who are you? A sellsword? I come at your call. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once, and we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. You lost many men on this hunt. Good men, all. They will have the proper rights, and their families will be cared for. Yeah. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting? There is pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her, keeping your things in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love, and a piss-poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Beeston. My hand would rather tug the... Be gentle if they spot me. My eyes narrowing at the sight of prey. Aye, a crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about you, Beeston. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. You must mark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hovels of Wattle and Dorb. I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people. Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and squawking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. He interferes. No, he disapproves. Is that not infinitely worse? But look, we are nearing my hall. I must face the wolves at my door before we discuss your favor to Essex, Abel. It may be I can speed your business along. Finally, we are getting somewhere. Ready to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure? Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. Who is this owl, Beeston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. Here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. Now, my dear brethren, Adred, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beerstan. Couldn't get a sow pissed in an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. Send them to back to Ilfred. They will full grown in strength, the mistletoe stood. 
When the Mansa coldest, the mistletoe is full grown, cloaked in her winter strength. Meaning that we should weather this? Stay strong? Yes, that's it. Not bend in the wind like stalks of wheat. And you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think of spending so much coin when your people are starving? Wine and song is the answer to any problem. You should contribute to the festivities, nor fasting come to the feast. You sh Wine and song is... Drink, be merry, eat your fill. Sing of great battles, for tomorrow we may die. There is no problem that mead and song cannot solve. Do we not deserve such mirth? A great feast and happiness? The dark days of winter approach. Let us drink them yeah. away. And Aldrich, do you yap like a she-hound as Adrid does? You know my thoughts, Beerston. The field. How can we give men to Alfred for his wars when our harvest suffers day by day? Keep your men here, in the fields. Fields. Do they not defend your land? You'll need all the men you can muster to fight the coming wars. The Danes are a great threat when provoked. Those we cannot ally with, we must fight or lose our lands. There! Have I not answered all your questions? You are a stain on this shire, Beerstan. Useless. Useless. That's right. Yet still you haunt my hall. Be gone. I haven't time for your squabbling. That ceased their prattling. A fine outcome, Abel. The very soul of balance. A firm hand is all you need, Birsten, whether on your hunting bow or on your helm. All this talk of hunting makes me long for the woods. Your wife awaits, Birsten. Are you not worried some other man will drench your sheets with his sweat? Ha! <laughs> she does as she must. As do I. But you will discover this soon enough. You have done the impossible, Dane. Returned my errant gander to his coop. My pettish love. Such a stormy countenance clouds the sun of my return. Your thanes drank the ale the abbot gifted us. All of it. Now that is a tragedy my heart will not easily overcome. If he looked at me with the same affection he shows for hunting deer, our marriage might have survived. Your love has gone sour. What do you need of me, Birsten? So, what do you need of me? Our affairs are more of heart than of state, Eivor. What little passion there was between us faded into bickering long ago. We would have our freedom, Eivor. I from my wife, and my wife from Essex. I am too sharp a weapon for so soft a task. Why not part and be done with it? Oh, were I a Dane, and divorce as simple as a slit throat. But it's not so easy as that. Your god prevents it. Your king prevents it. I will do what you ask of me. Your king. Then what is stopping you? Your king Alfred? Ours was not a union of love, but necessity. Decreed by Alfred's father to strengthen ties with Frankia. Not easily broken. Explain yourselves, clear and plain, and I will do it. The poetry here is mind mud. We had a plan, a simple plan. A woman lost and a woman found. Some time ago, we paid a Dane to kidnap me and ferry me safely to Frankia. As you can see, he did not deliver. He was certainly thorough in other regards. Some Norse can be quick to take coin and slow to earn it. If I give my word, it is not broken. Could we try the kidnap again? Much of the planning is done. It would only take a more trustworthy overseer. It should be a bold venture if we do. Loud and brash and seen by all. During our Lamas festival, merry peasants and guards with wandering eyes. Your return to Frankia would need a swift ship, with a captain ready to leave England. We could ask him. I would have thought his steed and seamen spent. Come find me in the market, Eivor. Our unwelcome guests require food and ale to soften their anger. My <laughs> wife is a gracious and attentive host, Eivor. The only thing that keeps my braying thanes at bay. And the woman found? A darling Maybud, Alvida, my childhood sweetheart. I left her twenty years ago in Malden to marry my prickled pear. Twenty years? Can an ember so cold be reignited? We can hope. You must fan the flame. Find her, 
Bring her to my lakeside cottage and light a bonfire there. I will know to come. I believe she lived in the last house in Molden. A small, sweet place where fond memories were made. I will do as you both ask, and ask Freya for success in this love game. Good luck in your endeavors, Eivor. I pray you find my Alvida with a fair face and a yearning heart. Now, should I look for Alvida first, or meet with Estrid at the marketplace? Ah. Plot four. My foot is on fire. Oh my god. Okay. World, hold a fast track in the. Let's see. Health. Great. Health. Melee resistance. Good. Plus seven. Critical. Good. Plus two point. Stun. Plus two point five. Ijin's heart. Draw upon the vitality of Ijin. Passively regenerate recent health loss after a short delay. Acquire locked. <gasps> and what Moral, should I do hold now? Hold a fast travel. I think I've been here. Yes. Yeah. Old. Should go this. Old wound. Uh huh. We we jump. You look like a man with a great weight on his mind. My trading plans are blocked by King Alfred at every turn. Birsten is a dear friend, but he manages Essex on whims and frivolity. Trade with my clan. My settlement could always use another trading partner. A Dane? Now that is fascinating. But we live in interesting times, and I must dance where the devil pipes his tune. Okay. Oh my god, what is this lag? came first to help you. Your needs seemed more pressing. And now my marriage awaits your executioner's sword. Will it not be strange to leave this place? You have lived here half your life. Yes, 
But what is to keep me here? A loveless union and the dirt mounds of two babes who never took a breath. You miss Francia. Have you always missed Francia? I have. Or rather, I miss the woman I was when I lived there. Somewhat freer and more hopeful. And what of our plan, the Great Lama's Kidnap? Is this a Christian feast? Yes, it's a wonderful evening. A blessing of the harvest, full of fruits and fires, drinking and dancing. Revelers with muddy minds and glazed eyes. That's good for us. And what of the ship that will sail you home? I know just the one. And her captain is full of fire. Come, I will take you to him. This captain, who is he? Not much more than a boy in his 17th year. Full of youthful bravado. A Saxon. A Dane. Though Adred calls you raiders, he says that you are here to steal England. Some may be. But I've come to settle a stretch of land. I'm not so keen to return to the winters of my birth in Norway. Norway? Ah! It must be beautiful. Rugged and fearsome, and cold as anything, the frozen north. So cold that the light hangs in the sky. A road for the Valkyries who carry our dead warriors to their eternal feast. An eternal feast would be a merry end. Come on. Why so slow? We are here. This is a brothel. The captain's name is Hrolfur, called Rollo in my tongue. Tell him of our new plan and agree to whatever reward he demands. He may take some convincing, for we did not part on the best of terms. I will bring him round by force or persuasion. Just be ready for my signal at the Lamas Festival. Uh -huh. Special services. Press B close. Brother Musivus. How do I get in? Yeah. Enter the brothel. Uh. Rolo! Uh. Please, I'm just a poor Christian brother with nothing left to give. Someone's at the door, Rolo. Oh, is it that hun I asked for? Estrid sent me. Did she now? As a parting gift for the man who rattled her bones, huh? <laughs> no, I'm here to collect you. Can it wait? Oi! Bring out the one they call Rolo. The king's men want to ask him a few questions. No, 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 no! Just a second! Good day, sir. Come in. Move! Move! Some help here! Bloody fucking Danes! Open this door! Out! Now! Follow me! <laughs> we found your camp, Dane! Your friends are all trouble! Oh. No one's help you now! Surrender! Rollo the imprudent! Surrender, Tucker! Oh, long thanks! Haha! I find how to get the life. Special services. Special services. Oh, that's. Estrid did not lie. You have fire. And who are you to Estrid? Only a friend. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Lost by the music of your speech. Then you must forgive me. Go to your men if you must. 
Only tell me where to find you. We have much to talk about. Northeast of here, by the river's mouth. Follow me or come when you can. The screamer, if you don't keep it down. Was it you who gave Eva the boneless his name? I hear talk of his deeds around the campfire, but his name I never understood. He was boneless before I met him. Now he's bones on a pyre. That's all I know for sure. And King Alfred? Can you imagine their king in the sky blanket tear sands our lands? He'd be bluer than my father on nights the mead is strong. He'd fall asleep in the snow with a dog Drunk keeping him warm. <sighs> This talk makes me long for the old times. The good old times. Cloak, release that down to use. Oh my god, where is he taking me? Worse than I feared. So many of my people gone. And the rest at each other's throats. They believe one of your number is a traitor? Lork and Gerhild have been at my side all season. I don't like to doubt them, but my people are taken and my ship is gone. If the traitor lives, all of you are at risk. Let me talk to them. The innocent have nothing to hide. Very well. But do not let Loki whisper lies in your ear. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And the... Gerhild, is it? I, Rollo's sworn sword sister. I've served him proud and true. You cannot think I betrayed him. Where were you? You were not here when the Saxons attacked us. I was hunting. There's fine game in the trees outside the camp, and our people need meat. What was your prey? Rabbits for stew. Rolo's favorite. Where were you? Tell me about- Who are you to Rolo? I am shield sworn, so long as England and that Frankish witch do not sway him from the true path. Our people deserve better. I hear envy, but of Estrid or Rolo I cannot tell. You know nothing, Ravenbeak. My concern is for my fellow Danes. You'll find no treachery here. Where were you? Tell me- No- That is all, for now. 
you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, uh. the Saxons attacked us. And these two... Lork, yes? What is your story? You want to hear my story? And bring me a mug of ale, and we'll sit and talk as equals. Elsewise, you can have. Where were you when the Saxons came? Where were you when the Saxons came? Hunting rabbits, wasn't I? Sick to death of carrots and turnips. Then I heard Geralt shouting, and all hell broke loose. Where were you when the Saxons came? Did you... Did you see anything at all? Geralt talking with a Saxon. Couldn't hear them, but wasn't nothing good. Sure of that much. Why should I believe you? You could be lying to save your own skin. Ask her. Says she's loyal to Rollo, but I've known her since she was a babe. Full of spite and ambition, always was. Where were you when the Saxons came? Did what are you? How long has your sword served Rollo? I owe his father a blood oath. If that means wiping Rollo's arse until I die, so be it. And if Rollo was dead, that oath would be fulfilled. You must tire of battle. I'll feast in Odin's Hall one day, but not with the stain of dishonor on my hands. Where were you when the Saxons... No more... I have what I need for now. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Sac... Gerhild, can we speak again? Where were you? Tell me, Lork... Lork accused you of treachery. He saw you with the Saxon. Lork? You believe that old crow? His bones crumble and his mind wanders with age. Or he wallows in jealousy. Take your pick. Where were you? Great. Tell me about uh, Rollo. Lord, no more. That is all for now. You were drinking and whoring, Rollo. The Saxons. Have you made your decision? Here's what I learned of Jerhild. Gerhild claimed to be hunting, as Lork did. Rabbit. She rarely hunts. She's been a terrible shot since we were children. Your shield sister is jealous. She thinks you neglect your people by sleeping with the enemy. She always had ambition. But she accepted my leadership. Swore on her shield. Lork saw her with a Saxon. She claimed he was her lover. Yet she has berated me many times for taking Estrid to my bed. I did not think her a hypocrite. Here's what I learned of Jer... Here's what I... Lork said he was hunting, but your racks are full of fresh rabbits. Why would he lie? Unless he had something to hide. He tires of his blood oath, and with your death, he would be free. He has become old and frail. But he served my father well. I would have freed him without bloodshed. Here's what I learned of Jerhild. Uh. Here's what I, I'm ready to accuse. I'm not ready yet. So that one. On second thought, perhaps there is more to be learned. I might find some evidence to test their stories. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two find the were traitor. nowhere to be found. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister, and Lork served my father well. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rollo's clan. No need to hunt when the camp is full of fresh kills. I should speak to both and see if I can find some evidence around the camp. Find the traitor. This looks like a good spot to hide. Somewhere to wait out a Saxon attack. Find the traitor. I don't have any Gerhild, idea. Can we speak again? Where were you? Tell Lord, I found You're lying. I found rags and rags of game. You've got more wit than your face suggests. I went to meet a lad from a nearby village. Rollo's not the only one who dallies with locals. Tell me about Rollo. Lord, I've no more questions. That is all for now. <clears throat> Lork. Where were you when the sack did you see? What are you to- I found- You're lying. I found a rack full of game nearby. Enough to feed the camp for days. Told you. I was hunting. Stick to that story and I'll tell Rolo to take your treacherous head. I was sleeping in the forest, wasn't I? Heard Saxons tramping through the tree, so I hid. 
not fool enough to face him on my own. Did you see anything? What are I no more? I have what I need for now. Uh. Have you made your decision? Um. Here's what I learned of Jerhild. Here's what I hear. Gerhild claimed to be hunting, as Lork did. Rabbit. She rarely hunts. She's been a terrible shot since we were children. Your shield sister is jealous. She thinks you neglect your people by sleeping with the enemy. She always had ambition. But she accepted my leadership. Swore on her shield. Lork saw her with a Saxon. She claimed he was her lover. Yet she has berated me many times for taking Estrid to my bed. I did not think her a hypocrite. Here's what I learned of Jerhild. Wait. Here, I'm ready to accuse. I'm not ready. On second thought, perhaps there is more to be learned. More. Find the traitor. Find the traitor. No more. Find the traitor. No, so I will go with a uh, girl. At least. Yours. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were yeah, nowhere well, to be good. found. Neither betrayed us, Find the traitor. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister. And Lork served my father well. No. Have you made your decision? Here's what I learned of Jer- I'm not re I'm ready to- I'm- On second thought, perhaps there is more to be learned. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn- Gerhild, can we speak- Tell me about Rollo. Lork, I found- You're lying. I found rags and rags of game. You've got more wit than your face suggests. I went to meet a lad from a nearby village. Rolo's not the only one who dallies with locals. Tell yes. me about Rolo. Uh, no, no I, I'll, I'll go with her. No. No. Gerhild is my sworn shield. Have you made your decision? Yeah. Here's what I learned. Here, I'm ready to- Have you come to a firm conclusion? I have. Let me hear it. Both choices will pain me, but let it be the truth. The traitor is Jerhild. Gerhild betrayed you. No! That's not true! Rolo, I beg you! A shameful death on bloody Saxon soil. Both had reason to betray their yard. Only one had the eyes on to do so. I hope you chose well, for you denied them a seat in my hall. There can be no feast in Valhalla for a break faith. She was always a jealous crow, beak pricking over every decision I made. Nothing more can be done here, but your warriors might still be alive. And I will need your help after they are free. There's a Saxon camp with a dock at Port Walton. It might be they were taken there. I hope I choose. Always what? knew there was something wrong about her. Spare me your sullen words. My heart is torn. Go. Find something. Oh. 
Holy. Men caged like plump hens. Find and rescue the Danes. God, just get my sword will bring you sleep. Where are you? Eradicate the camp. My sword will bring you sleep. Valhalla awaits us. My sword will bring you sleep. Rolo's men are free. Now we discuss the terms of the kidnap. Finally. Your axe arm is strong, Rolo. Never doubt me, Raven Feeder. These Saxon king slaves did. Your loyalty will be rewarded. Your pleasure seeking. I need your your your. You showed great loyalty to your kinfolk. Stay true to that. And your name and deeds shall spread far. Good advice. Such is my fiercest desire. If it's renown you want, then aid me now. I have a task that will set your name ringing through the long halls. Oh, tell me. I need someone with a swift wave steed in good repair to bring the Lady Estrid across the sea to Frankia. Another kidnap scheme. Estrid is unshakable. All right then. Let we two triumph where one failed. I need you stout-hearted in this, whatever your passions for Estrid. We had our time together. Now that's done. I will not fail you here, nor her. We will meet with your men inside Colchester, on the night of the Lama's Festival. Okay. Next quests, world, and skills. Uh, yeah, Ijin's heart draw fire plus 3.0 fire build up. Oh, no, I world go to quests, this. childhood sweetheart, mastery chap. World. Hold a fast travel. Too far away. Will 
all that I remember a lover from so long ago. Would we'll find I? Out. World. Childhood sweet. What do you see, Sunan? That one. The last house in Malden. Find and speak All to Alvida. should be here. Angry plea. Press. Find and speak A to Alvida. A second bed. Alvida doesn't live alone. Find and speak to Alfida. Leave me be, warmonger! You have my sister! Is that not enough? Peace, boy. I'm not with these men. I came to speak with your sister, that's all. A day in Essex. Now here's a day riddled with strange portents and happenings. What is your name? What is your name? I'm Ellerich, the man of this house. Who are you? And why have you come? I'm looking for your sister, at the behest of another. Behest? We've got no money to speak of, and my sister is well past the marrying age. Do you know where they're holding Alvida? Yet another stay at the King's pleasure. The prison camp at Brentwood, far to the west. I'll bring her to the lake house north of there. Meet us there if you wish. If you promise you will find her, I will. World. Uh, remove? Whoa, 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 where is that? Oh my god. Hold a fast travel. There. Let's see what we can find. and rescue Alfida. Rescue Alpida.
Find and rescue Alpha. <laughs> Let's see. and rescue Alpha. <laughs> Find and rescue Alpha. Bye, boy. Find and rescue help. Unlock Alvida's cage. Find and rescue Alvida. This must be Beerston's love, Alvida. Let's see. World. Child. It's nothing here, so. What? What is this? You're not one of them. Stay quiet. I'm here to free you. I cannot walk. My ankle. They were not gentle with me. Then I will carry you. Who are you? Who risked so much to save me? A friend. Of Elrich's? Is he all right? The poor boy? Not your brother. Someone else who wishes to rekindle of a friendship. Oh, they beat me. 
can you not great Gentler, please. You'll soon be safe. Rest easy. Come on, let's finish with this. My ankle, oh, the pain. One hundred meters. My bones ache. Almost killed her. Bless the saints. Here you are. Rest now. Soon you'll be up and about again. Alfida. Did they hurt you? Takes more than some cockshy milksops to break my will. Beating a boy after death for stealing bread. I'll not see it done. Growling bellies mean nothing to those pay swords. Ellerich, pay more mind to the world. It is cruel and dark for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Alvida, could we speak in private? He is a good boy. But without a father to guide him, he's grown softer than I'd hoped. You raised him alone? You raised him alone? Where were your parents when he was a child? Dead of the plague that came when he was three months born. So to shun your door when you have a babe on your teeth. Now it's your turn. Why did you come for me? I am here at the request of Elderman Beerston. He wonders if you could love him again. Love him? Dear old Beerston, he remembers. He does. I've thought of him sometimes myself. But with my brother to fend for... I could not waste a life mooning. He has thought of nothing but you, Alvida. And with his wife Estrid returning to Frankia, he sent me to find you. How it would work between me and him? I'm a poor woman. Have been always. But the Alderman... Oh, God, help me! I'll give him a go. How could I not? Oh, bless. He will come if you call. At the lighting of the bonfire, he will ride here to meet you. Ellerich, come you and sit with us. I have something to say. My... my apple blossom girl. Is it really you? It is. Though crows have left their footfalls around my eyes. They still shine brightly, as when we were children. Has Eivor told you all? Aye, she has. And do you accept me, love? My heart feels like it will burst. Give her time, Beerston. Give her time, Beerston. A passion rekindled in haste will soon fall to embers. Of course. You are absolutely right. And we have a lifetime to recapture what was mislaid. I hope it will not take that. And this young lad is Elevich, Olvida's brother. Hello, your... your... worshipfulness? I am Beerstan, nothing more or less. And you are a fine, strong lad of... how old? Nineteen summers. He's all the family I have, Beerstan. If I'm to stay, you must welcome us both into your heart. We have one half of our bargain done, Beerstan. I will return with news of the other. Does this mean we're leaving Malden? You are, my boy. To live with me in Colchester. Perhaps I can teach you the joy of the hunt. 
Before you go, Elovrich, I would suggest the long, slow walk around the lake. Oh, how romantic! I should leave them to their reunion. The next piece of this drama is the kidnapping in Colchester. Dear Bearston, I cannot believe you would come for me after uh. all these years. I never stopped thinking of you, Alvida. Two more points. And. Let's see, I think this is it for this episode also. See you on the next one.